I had a request to give you guys an update on my tower gardens. So here they are. Um, this tower garden right here, I took to Nashville about two weeks ago. I'm taking back up to Nashville in three days. And um, on the way back from Nashville, I lost a couple plants. So you may have remembered seeing this tower. I added a couple things to it because I lost a couple plants. We hit a huge pothole in the mountains. But um, I added a tomato plant and this is a black crim tomato. And I got this plant from Lowe's and I simply um, washed off the roots, sandwiched it in rock wool and stuck it in the towers and it has doubled in a week. And I'm also getting some flowers. Whenever you put a flowering plant in, take off any existing flowers. Give the root chance to get started. But um, I have celery, that's doing really well. Um, I have lost something else, I can't remember anymore. Time has flown. Um, so I replaced it with a basil. Again, I just rinsed off the roots again and put it in the tower. Got some nice strawberries. Um, got some green onions. I've got my sorrel, curly kale, calendula. It's so pretty. But it also makes a beautiful salad. Um, you can use it to, you can eat these flowers, put them in salads, or make a salad out of them. And my friend Erin does that. More strawberries, parsley, dinosaur kale. Um, I've got really nice Swiss chard here. I've got a cabbage that I should eat. It needs to be eaten, but I'll take it to the show. And um, strawberries. This is spinach. Look at these leaves. Aren't they huge? Beautiful spinach leaves. Um, this is romaine lettuce. Oh, I, lo I lost another plant. And so I replaced it with a pepper. And you can see some pepper flowers are going to come up pretty soon. Um, that's the same thing. I got it from those, rinsed it off, put it in the tower. Um, what else do I have in here? Four strawberry plants. We've been eating strawberries like crazy, but I'm going to give you guys a little time-saving tip for this tower. What you can do is, with your when you're checking the pH, and you want to keep your pH between 5.5 and 6.5, just check it in the top of the tower. You don't have to reach all the way down. And this pH is too high. I set 7.1, so I need to add some acid. So I've got here, I've got my big full of stuff that I use for the tower garden. So I just carry this with me when I work on the tower gardens. And I've got my tower tonic. There's the A and the B. I use a bigger measuring cup than what tower garden sends you because I have five towers. Um, I use this acid um, because I have, I need a lot of acid. Um, for my water in my particular area, and this stuff is just really economical, and it's buckered. Works really well. I have a scissors, and usually here I keep my pH tester. So I'll just add some acid to that tower and check it. And then this is my lettuce and spinach tower, and this is looking really pretty. Um, look at my spinach. I'm so proud of it. And so on this tower, I'm going to check, again, check the water. Okay. Oh, this is good. This is 6.1, 6.0. So this one is 5.9. This one's right on target. I'm going to leave this one. So, um, asking about how often do you take care of these towers? Um, I get that question a lot. And um, I'll let you know in two weeks I added water to this tower twice and to this tower once. And to add those towers, not at all. They're pretty small still. So... Really, I only spent a couple minutes in each tower a week, um, plus the you know the time to harvest and maintain your plants. So that's my update. And if you're going to Atlanta, if you're going to go to Teach Them Diligently Atlanta. I'll be there in about three days, and I'm looking forward to seeing everybody. Have a great day.